Bro, his cooking is rawer than David's? What? Okay, stop doing the Instagram stuff because I don't want spoilers. Do we do one more? Bro, come on. We did nine hours today, dude. Just one more. I never said 12. <sighs> this is why I have high cholesterol, dude. How about two more and we'll call it even? No, no, no. Okay, we watch one more. It's like the last one. You said this was an uncapped sabathon. Sabathon? I have the clip. No, it's not, dude. I've never said that. Have you checked the spreadsheet to see if you made up all the time for the seven days you missed? Dude, listen, I really didn't think that I was going to be doing this much. Okay, I'll do one more. Last one, though, for sure. Dude, eight episodes, dude. Last one, last one. Last time on MasterChef. The home cooks got a surprise wake-up call. Thank you, Tiffany Lamas, for the five years of subs. And cooked breakfast at one of the busiest hotels in the Thank country. Thank you, Yammies, for the five years of subs. No, you start your mouth. A disaster. The red team triumph. Sending the blue team to the pressure test. I am... Freaking out. Under pressure, Ryan crumbled. Please take your apron and leave the Master Chef kitchen. Tonight, the home cooks face a daunting Thank you, challenge. Tara Incognita oh, for the tank of the subs. Oh, spoilers! <laughs> almost. Boys, we almost spoiled it, but I didn't. Okay? Remember. Remember, I saved it. I fucking saved it. You didn't even get a... You didn't get to even peek at the spoils, okay? <sighs> Mozana and Baby Fart McGizak. Thank you for the five gifted subs as well. Don't call the chatters, boys. That's hella toxic. Shut the fuck up, idiot. <laughs> Good one. Let's go. Please take stations. Thank you. I'm in the top 13. Who would have lost a bunch of money on that? Everyone I know. Welcome back to the MasterChef kitchen. It must be feeling like home, right? <laughs> yes, chef. Well, trust me, don't get too comfortable. Today, you face another mystery box challenge. In this challenge, the contestants have to prepare. I already ran the ad break one stunning 11 minutes ago. Using nothing more than the ingredients. I ran it early to debate you. As usual, we will be watching you. Hassan's 350Z. That one always gets me. I talked about how I loved the 350Z when I was younger one time. And there's a motherfucker whose name is Hassan's 350Z. Thank you for the 25 gifted subs. <laughs> like Hawks. We taste everything. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just, whoa, 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 whoa. Graham. Graham took off the spectacles for a moment, dude. Yo, Graham's hair literally looks like that, that child show actor who passed away. You know what I'm talking about? The one with like, who has like the long face. Fuck, is it not Jimmy Neutron? No. It does kind of look like Jimmy Neutron, though. I was never interested in MasterChef. Now I can't watch it without your commentary. Dude, that's the whole point. Like, this show, this show is, is, I mean, it's probably fun to watch on your own. Robbie Rotten. Yes, dude. Look at his, look, 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 look. Doesn't he look like Robbie Rotten?
like a little bit watching you <laughs> like hawks we taste it he's like robbie rotten if you know extra extra l double xl robbie rotten multi x thank you for the tank of the subs he's not a child actor he's a he's an actor everything, for children observe everything as you go about creating this dish are you ready yes, yeah. Yeah. On the count of three, you'll lift those boxes. One! I have no freaking idea what's in there, so. The cowboy in me wants a steak. Two! Mystery box, mystery box. Give me anything. I've made brains, Multi I've crabs. Thank you. I'm a warrior. Three! <laughs> no. I cannot freaking believe that they gave this cowboy a T-bone steak. I'm just totally jacked. Glistening before your eyes is a gorgeous USDA choice T-bone steak. Alongside it, a selection of wonder. Your Lazy Town knowledge is sus. I don't know anything about Lazy Town. I've never actually seen it. I just know because that dude looks wild. I just know that that dude looks wild and he passed away. Bro, this is, oh God, Walmart ad, really? Like they're just gonna put that fucking in there? Like a Walmart ad like Full that? Fresh produce, corn, watermelon, cabbage, peach, sour cream, tarragon, cayenne, and paprika. All of that in front of you, including that beautiful steak will cost you less than $15 from Walmart. When I think of Walmart, I definitely don't think of steak. It was kind of cool to see so many different things in just such a limited budget, but good quality ingredients. Cocaine, alcohol, crack, cholesterol. Why do I why do I keep streaming for this community? So disrespectful. So wrong. So incredibly wrong. And remember. And the speed in which you put that together. Like, what happened? You saw. We looked at that like literally five minutes ago. And you immediately went back. You had this tapped. Okay, this is an old ass Instagram photo. You went back, like, found the photo and immediately crafted this meme together like that is crazy to me okay that's physically impossible to put together in such a short period of time hasan Abi, the real reason why medical information is private yeah just absolute madness also makes me kind of mad whenever i ask the very same community for anything like hey can you guys pull this shit up you guys send me the dumbest memes, okay? You're like, hey, look at my memes, look at my memes, look at my memes, look at my memes. It's like, no, dude, I don't want to see your stupid memes. I want something specific. And I know you could easily pull that shit up. And you refuse to. It's a Hoscord move. This, whoever is, this deranged person is definitely in Hoscord. Look at my memes. <laughs> it's just like, how, why? Why did you do? <laughs> the funny is when you do the same in Hoscord, expecting them to act like Twitch chat, but they all just laugh at you. Yeah, Twitch chat is so much better than Hoscord. It's so much. It's not even funny. I go into Hoscord and I'm like, hey, guys, I need an answer for something. Can you please pull this? And they literally, instead of laughing at me, by the way, they don't laugh at me. They send me the dumbest memes anyone has ever seen because they're like, they're like little kids. They're like, hey, look at this. Look at this, dad. Look at what I got. Look at what I made for you. And it's literally just like... Like shitty crayon drawings, okay? That's what it is. 
the equivalent of the memes that I get in Hoscord whenever I fucking join Hoscord for a question and I need it in a pinch is literally just like, look, I put shit all over the walls. You're looking for a Jamie, but you got whoever the fuck Crowder has? Yeah, exactly. I need a young Jamie. And instead, I got an old Steven Crowder second-in-command guy. Like all mystery boxes, you don't have to use everything we give you. In addition, you have access to the staple pantry box to cook a stunning dish. Okay, you have 60 minutes to make one amazing dish that we could sell in any of our restaurants for $40 plus with just $15 worth of Walmart fresh groceries. Your time stops now. Everyone can relate to this, because it's the kind of ingredients you'll have on an everyday basis. We're going to have to see some real imagination. What would you do? I think what I would do is take the T-bone, like spice rub it, I'd sear it up, do a corn pudding underneath, and then some grilled peaches topped with uh, some of the tarragon sour cream to finish. Nice, nice, nice. Remember, one stunning plate. I'm telling you how I... Good, Chef. You've never been in the top three. Uh, I you haven't, it? no. No, no, no. I've been coasting in the middle, and I really want to make my way up Purposely, there. Purposely, or...? You... I got up to a rocky start, I'm not going to lie, but I, I'm working my way up there, you know? Good luck. Feisty. Frankie, how you doing, boy? What's up, Frankie? So nothing Italian here, no pasta, no... Nah, you guys gave me a T-bone steak, man. I'm gonna do All-American summertime. Hopefully the sauce comes out good with the peaches. I have a good idea in my head. Interesting combinations okay. here. Yeah? Absolutely. Felix is doing a roulade. She made some sort of a buttercream and she's butchered out the steak. You don't do a roulade of T-bone. The filling was delicious. I know, but the fibers of a T-bone steak doesn't lend itself to bean. She's trying to stand out, but yeah, I mean, Becky's making dessert. To take that T-bone, cast it to the side, and do a dessert. It's a ballsy move. It's very ballsy. Uh, Becky. Hello, Chef. You intimidated by a T-bone? No, I'm not intimidated. I think that this is actually a strategic move, being the only person doing dessert. What is the dessert? Uh, I'm doing a creme anglaise infused with tarragon and then roasted peaches and caramel. Good luck, Becky. Hello, boys. Hey, Stacy, who's the top three right now? Um, I think Josh, Christine, and myself. What about Becky? She talks a lot. You know, she hasn't won anything yet, though. So let her back. Acid it up burns. And we'll Thank see. you for the five gifted. Ten minutes to go. So what is it with white people and wet fruit, bro? I don't understand it. Touch that. Yeah. Temperature wise. Where, where, where are you with that? It's There's medium, no spring. Medium well. What's going to happen to that steak in 10 minutes' time? It's going to. Um, well medium done. well. Resting for 10 more minutes. It's going to go to well done. Yeah. Good luck, Tully. To be at this level, nobody should struggle. We're in the Master Chef kitchen. If you don't know how to cook a steak, you're in the wrong place. Guys, just under five minutes. Start thinking about what you're choosing, how you're going to plate it, wiping it down, and presenting it. Two minutes to go. Here we go. Where's that paprika? Christine, two minutes to go. Yes, Chef. Because you've got the corn on the plate. Oh, What's she doing? Change gear, Christine. You're not going to make it. 13 dishes. We're only tasting three. Come on. Finishing touches. You want to hear my lock? I think Yee Yee Cowboy is going to just, like, make too basic of a T-bone steak. Guys, it's so vital that these plates look amazing. Don't waste the last hour that you did by ruining how it looks. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Finishing touches. 15 seconds to go. Play, play, play. Guys, it's so vital that these plates look amazing. Five. Four, three, 
two, one, and stop. <sighs> well done. Thank you, Tara really Nine Thousand Egg. I love how my meat looks, and I pulled it out of my. Ass. I don't know how I did it. Everybody happy with the dishes? Yes, yes sir. sir. After observing and tasting throughout the challenge, nice. the judges now take one final look to identify three standout dishes. Sweating like a whore in church, man. Becky, you screwed. Why would you do dessert? I don't think that's MasterChef level. Joe, Graham, and myself have now chosen the three top dishes that we'd like to taste. First one. We actually thought that this individual was a one-trick pony, but they went out of their comfort zone. They did something they'd never done before in this competition. Congratulations. Frank, good job. Frank's dish looks obnoxiously perfect. I'm like, really, Frank? So, what is the dish? So on this side, you have the uh, strip side, and then you have the tenderloin. Smart. And then I made a slaw with uh, grilled corn and cabbage. And then the sauce, I deglazed the pan with uh, the peaches. And then at the end, I put the tarragon and sour cream. Great sear on the T-bone. Fuck. Bro, he popped off, dude. You've now reaffirmed your position in this competition. That's a bloody good dish. Well done. Thank you. Really good. Only thing that I would do more is just a touch more acid, but everything else is pretty spot on. Good job. Thank you so much, Graham. It looks like and tastes like to me you had the whole MasterChef pantry at your disposal. So that, I think, is the biggest compliment I can pay I you. I appreciate it, man. That's huge. Good job, Frank. Well Thank done. you, guys. Pretty good job. The second home cook that made it into the top three. Excited to try it. Becky's ego is getting larger by the day. So if Becky's name gets called... All right, chill, dude. Like, what do you mean? Well, why? Why is she like... I, some of these, I feel like, are just rivalries that the, the producers are egging on. Desert Mommy just coming out of nowhere, you know? I'm going to vomit completely. At the end of the day, it was a beautiful dish. And that dish belongs to... Tanya. Well done. I'm like, what? Tanya, me? It took me a second to be like, huh? Like, go, walk, pick up your plate. Tell me all about it. All right, well, um, I started off by marinating my steak in some tarragon olive oil, cayenne, salt, and pepper. Mm -hmm. I slow braised my cabbage, and then I boiled my corn, pureed it, and added some sour cream to kind of make it into a creamy sauce with some chili. So this is your first time in the top three with the mystery box. Yes, it is. Based on this, I'm guessing it's not gonna be the last. If you keep cooking like that and seasoning, then you're gonna go far. It's awesome. Oh, thank you. Fifteen dollars, and you've turned it into something worth forty dollars. Great job. Pretty well done. Thank you. <gasps> we'll be tasting just uh, one more dish, and this next home cook didn't go the obvious way with the ingredients. Felix made this amazing roulade right in front of me, and I'm just hoping that they're not talking about her. I'm just praying that they're gonna call my name. In the top three. Why would they go with her? You made yes. wet. Becky. No shot. <laughs> oh, come on, man. What the hell are these judges? I mean, shut the fuck up, Polly. You don't deserve anything. But like, also, she just made wet fruit. Yo, what is it? What is up with these judges and fucking wet fruit, dude? Every time, they're just like, I love wet fruit. Please give me more wet fruit. Is it the wettest food? Like, the wetter the food, the better the meal? You know, basing this on. Becky drives me crazy, but damn, she's good. So obviously, I did dessert. Um, I made a little peaches and cream puree, and then I also did a sugared tarragon leaf, and then I oven roasted the peach with a little bit of caramel Okay, sauce. that's actually not just wet fruit, let's be real. Okay, that, that popped off a little bit. What's difficult to do with fruits and dessert is maintain the inherent acidity. It's very easy to get too sweet and too concentrated, but your cook on the peach is really top notch. You went out of the mystery box and it paid off big time. Congratulations. Thank you. It's beautiful because of its simplicity. 
So I think it's important for everybody here to realize how much plating can elevate your dish. Thank you so much. Thank you. Peaches do look like vaginas. Okay. Well done, all three of you. Three outstanding dishes, incredible. I really need to win this. I really want to get that advantage on the next challenge. I'm definitely not a one-trick pony. I've had more lows than highs. I've never shined. I've never been at the top of anything in this competition so far. I want to win. I know that I'm good enough to win this. My dish is the best dish, so I want to win today so badly, so badly. The person that will have a huge advantage in the next stage of this competition, that dish belongs to In this challenge, our home cooks had to turn $15 of fresh steak and produce from Walmart into a dish the judges could charge $40 for. The person that will have a huge advantage in the next stage of this competition. Well done. Tanya. <gasps> what a just paper or a bone, bro? A steak challenge? Me, Persian, curry lady, one frank becky congratulations tanya come with us good job i feel like they threw her a Thank bone a little so bit much. well done well done well done and also i had such great finesse that's twice always the bridesmaid never the bride <laughs> poor becky she's so talented but it's a little annoying you're like just take it take it like a man <laughs> come on sexist excuses my boo-boo again Sexism against men using. Actually, I don't know why I said that. That's like, not ex, not not sexism against men. I was just see. I was trying to. I was trying to make it work, and it still doesn't work. Okay. Welcome. As the winner of the mystery box challenge, Tanya enters the Master Chef pantry. Awesome. Where she is now in control of the elimination test. The theme of today's elimination test is. Our favorite dessert. Wow. I love dessert. Listen, my motherfuckers, my cholesterol is, is getting low again or Italian high favorite. again. It literally means pick me up. Tiramisu. <laughs> yes, you guessed it. Tiramisu. That looks awesome. Layers of lady fingers soaked in espresso and I liqueurs. fucking mascarpone love cheese. Uh, love and a tiramisu. Of cocoa Fuck. Oh, I just want to fucking. Powder. Yum. It's so like it's cold. It's moist. He said espresso again. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Is that the way Italians say it or espresso. some shit? Layers of lady fingers soaked in espresso. And oh my god, bro. Second fucking time he's done this. He does it once a season, bro. How are you how are you a fucking chef, homie? What the fuck? Uh oh. He's a fake Italian. You would know. How dare you? I'm a real Italian. Also, like I was saying, dude, mm, wet cake over wet fruit every day of the week. You fucking kidding me? Wet cake over wet fruit every day of the fucking week, bitch. Listen, listen. Yeah, he says Chipotle as well. Ah. Uh. Fucking tiramisu is so good. It's like, like diving into a cold pool on a hot summer's day. You know, that's the kind of, hmm, kind of feeling I get. When liqueurs, mascarpone cheese, oh. and a dusting of cocoa powder. Yum. My favorite dessert is an all-American classic. Strawberry shortcake. Ooh, oh. I love that too. It's a perfect Fuck. combination of crumbly oh. cake, fresh oh. fruit, and fluffy whipped cream. Clearly the easiest. And lastly, my favorite dessert. Oh. Amazing, delicious, very technical. You know Gordo's gonna pick some bullshit, like some British bullshit. British trifle. Oh God. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Please see yourself out. Get the fuck out, bro. It's pr a fucking tiramisu and strawberry shortcake and then whatever the fuck this is oh god trifles are phenomenal 
deceptively simple looking, but it is complex. Today. To be fair, like, it, it's kind of wild that Gordo was able to rise above his disadvantage of being British and still be like a world-renowned chef. You know what I mean? Like, can you imagine being from the UK and being a world-renowned chef? Like, your cuisine, your starting point is, like, literally worse, categorically worse than every other fucking country on the planet. Scottish, whatever, same shit, okay? Get the fuck out of here. You know he didn't learn that shit in, in Britland, okay? He didn't learn that in Scotland. He probably went to, like, fucking Italy or France or some shit to get the proper training. All three will be served. Oh, wow. There are two more things you should know. First, you won't be cooking, so you're safe from elimination. Congratulations. <laughs> That's big. That's awesome. Second, you get <gasps> to choose which of them makes what. Oh, my God. You are going to tell us which four of your opponents. Some of these motherfuckers in the Discord server think just because they're talking shit in the Discord server that, like, like, I don't see them. You know what I mean? Hassan, you fucking C-word. I haven't seen the... I've seen the shit America cooks for Thanksgiving. So not talk shit, pussy. Listen. Listen, motherfucker. I will ban you from the Discord server. You understand me? You think you're safe in your little stream discussion? Huh? You think that... You think you're safe down there? You think you can just say whatever the fuck you want? I'm watching. I'm sniping Discord and I'm sniping chat cord, okay? Yeah, bitch. That's right. Don't make me. <laughs> They're gonna. <laughs> yeah, what are they gonna do? They're gonna email Noam Chomsky again. I'm gonna make Joe's. Italian classic tiramisu. Which four are going to be making Graham's? I love doing that and just fucking up Discord for like the next 25 minutes where it's just like, it's just fucked. And people just get to, people just farm the most smugs. Oh my God. It fucking freezes so hard. Look at this. Look, look, look. It goes for a little bit. And then just fucking freezes. Yep. See? And then whoever gets the freeze gets all the fucking engagement. Look at that. <laughs> Boom! Locked it! Stunning strawberry shortcake. And which four are going to make this very technical trifle? But listen. Grain, Joe and I will select the worst in each category. That's the bottom three. One of those three home cooks will be eliminated from MasterChef. What in the tamale am I gonna do? You have to think cleverly to absolutely nail your fellow competitors to the wall. So tell me, who makes complex, technical, or something simple? Oh gosh, oh, who I, oh. Tanya, make your way up to the balcony, please. Thank you. Good luck, guys. That's right. Tanya is safe. She will not be in this elimination test tonight. I think Tanya feels guilty about whatever decisions she just made, which makes me feel like, oh, man, something's about to go down, and it's going to be ugly. The theme of tonight's elimination challenge is our favorite dessert oh gosh <laughs> i messed up the apple pie and now they want us to cook their favorite dessert i'm terrified absolutely terrified Il mio dolce preferito. my favorite hey you should have thought about that before you were anti-white racist fizz i'm just kidding Badges in the in the chat for Fizz. Fallen soldier. Here, here's a rare gram for you. The 
funniest part about Discord mods, like regulators, is that they themselves were a part of the fucking Noam Chomsky email. Like they signed it. And now they make fun of it all the time. That's right, motherfucker. Gorbachev, I will never forget. I will never forgive and I will never forget. He's got banned. Dessert. Tiramisu. My personal favorite. Strawberry shortcake. And my favorite dessert is trifle. What the hell is a trifle? Yeah, this is so dumb. Tanya's Yo, huge advantages. Cowboy, cowboy looked at that like it's a hate crime. Make what dessert? Tanya, have I been friendly to her? I think I've been good to her. We will select the worst tasting tiramisu, the worst tasting strawberry shortcake, the worst tasting trifle, and out of those three, one of you will be leaving the MasterChef kitchen. Totally huge advantage to the uppermost Batman. Not only does Tanya get to choose what we each have to bake, she gets to choose who we're competing against. Are you all ready to go into the pantry and find out which dessert Tanya chose for you? Yes. Yes, chef. Yes. All right, you guys have 60 minutes to make our favorite desserts. Your time starts now. Off you go. Ooh, didn't choose. God, I knew it. I see my name by the trifle bowl. <laughs> yes. Up against Stacy, Becky, and Monty, and I'm like, oh. Shit. I'm gonna be in the bottom three today. Boom. I got strawberry shortcake. Thank you, Tanya. I love this cake. Sweet. Tali's going to have a comeback. I feel so good right now. There's no way I could screw up. Wait, did he just refer to himself in the third person? That was like the bingo. That was like the final thing. That, that was the one thing he hadn't done to be a less likable person, and he fucking hit it. Tali's gonna make a comeback. Up. <gasps> Tanya chooses me to cook tiramisu. So I'm competing against Frank, Anna, and Felix. They are the strongest cooks still left in this competition. Let's go. I'm really excited about this. I mean, trifle. Becky, Stacy, Monty, and Josh. So there's only four of them in that little mini car. I'm really excited about this trifle. Only fucking British posting right there. Just, just British behavior. Okay, stop. Make the rich pay three million dollars for a house. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to make a trifle. Why not? Let's make it. Let's do it. So, okay, strawberry shortcake. We've got Tolly, mm -hmm. Scott, Mike, and Christine. Tanya chose strawberry shortcake for me, and I think out of the three, that's probably technically one of the easier ones to work with. So, thank you, Tanya. I give Mike strawberry shortcake because he's a friend of mine and he's from the South. That's where, like, when did you guys become friends? She made friends with so many, like, random people. What's up with Tanya? Tanya was friends with Ryan and fucking and Cowboy. Like, when? How? What they eat, and I know he can rock it. But I'll take him down later. Team Tiramisu is a very competitive group. You have David, Anna, Felix, and then you have Frank. It would be pretty tough to get sent home in the back of a Tiramisu, but uh, I don't think it's going to happen today, my friend. Where could it go wrong? Well, the perfect tiramisu, as much as it's a sweet dessert, it's about acidity because the espresso has acidity and the cocoa powder has bitterness yeah. and acidity too. So it's a contrast of sweet, rich, and acid and light. How are we doing, Felix? Good. Are well, you not going to put it in a form? How are you going to make it? On a plate, kind of more free form. Wow, that's risky. One in four goes at the bottom three. Anyone can go home today, and you're in a competitive group. I'm not going home today. How's it going, David? I think it's going pretty well. Is that your cream there? Yes, that's Are you my happy with that? Cream. I am happy with the way it came out. What should it taste like? Mascarpone. It's like a little sweet, but a little sour. Does this taste what you just described to me?
I mean, you've managed to take mascarpone, which is like a light, delicate cheese, and turn it into cream cheese. The theme of this elimination challenge is the judges' favorite desserts. Complex tiramisu. Simple strawberry shortcake. Technical British trifle. For winning the mystery box. Wait, who's doing the trifle? Who's trifling out here? Because that's a weird team, dude. Like. Tanya got to pick which dessert each home cook would have to make. It's a trifle. Becky, Stacy, Monty, and Josh. Mm -hmm. So you're making a lot of components. You have custard, chantilly cream, sponge cake, uh, gelatin. gelatin. Got to make them all and then compose it. It's a lot of tasks for the cook. It's a lot of technique. Trevon Elm, thank you for the five gifted. We're up against three other tough competitors. Now I don't even know what's gotten into it. Stacy, please. Are you using all your Jello? Yeah. Gelatin. Okay. I didn't get a okay. Get out of my way, Becky. I didn't come here to make friends. I am ready to be the top dog in this competition. Right, Becky, you look intimidated, yet every competitor in this competition is more scared of you. I mean, are you feeling vulnerable? I'm feeling a bit vulnerable because there's so many elements. Where is the jelly? Uh, well, this was supposed to be it. However, uh, I didn't get enough sheets of gelatin. Becky is known as the dessert girl. And so I give her the trifle because I know she's my fiercest competitor. Monty, where's the sponge? The sponge? Gordon tells me that he needs sponge. I don't even know what he means by that. He talks in this language that I don't entirely understand <laughs> sometimes. The bottom bit, yeah, the bit with the liquor. Where's oh. the sponge? She's right. What do you mean? Gordon says he needs sponge. British. And somehow that computes in my mind into, oh, I need lady fingers. Does anyone have extra lady fingers I could borrow? What? Does anyone have extra lady fingers I could borrow? Thank you, sir. Strawberry shortcake, easy, delicious Americana. We've got Tolly, Scott, Mike, and Christine. End of the day, that shortbread has to be crumbly, but a little aerated. And the strawberries, a little bit of sugar, kind of cook down, make a simple syrup, and then the whipped cream. The Monty does look like Kirsten Cinema before the car accident. Chantilly, you know, definitely the most simple dessert that we have today. But who do you think will struggle? I think that Tally is going to struggle. He always has a way of making himself his own worst enemy. I'm making a strawberry air. It's pretty much going to be just, it's like a really cool bubble bath. Oh, this guy, this fucking guy, Scott please Hay. ban him. Okay. Friend, your favorite. Please you clap him, dough? please. Actually, he needed it pretty decently, I thought. But remember, you want this to be flaky. You want it kind of incorporated, just like that pie dough. I hope that you didn't overneed it, because it's starting to look like a little pasta dough. I give Scott a strawberry shortcake because it's so easy. He's had some troubles with dessert in the past, but I'm worried for Scotty. Last 10 minutes. Start assembling your desserts. Look, Monty's cream's on fire. Monty! Felix didn't go home. She's still there. Monty! Yes, sir? Get a cloth. <laughs> no, no, not with your hands. How can you set that go? How can you set that go? Domino's does not have trifle. trifles, dude. Shut the fuck That's up. That's the first for me. I'm looking to impress, sir. I'm looking to impress. Monty is all over the place. I don't even know where to start with her. Do you have any flour, David? I don't know anybody that could start a fire making a trifle bowl. <laughs> you burn a trifle bowl. This challenge has set the cat amongst the pigeons. How's the trifle crowd? Uh, disaster. I mean, honestly, no. The jelly set, they haven't finished their pastry cream and they haven't even started to think of it. Dude, that's awesome. It's literally the weakest of the three desserts and it's the, it's the one that's destroying them, okay? Typical British bullshit, okay? Worst dessert out of the three, by far, like wide margin, you know what I mean? Sh strawberry shortcake and, and uh, tiramisu go hand in hand, you know, hand to hand combat. Meanwhile, motherfuckers like, make a trifle and, and impossible. My creation. How about the tiramisu? I was worried about David and Felix, and rightfully so. Like Felix, he's doing like a free form construction plated tiramisu, which you rarely see, but you never know if she can pull it off. What I've seen, Scott overworked his dough. His shortcakes are like, almost like little hockey pucks. No good. Mike won't stop decorating his bloody shortcake. He's going over the top. Yeah. The only thing he hasn't done is pipe cream underneath the plate. <laughs> 30 seconds to go. Come on. Last touches. Looks like Frank's eating. Hey, Frank, leave some for us. I got plenty for you, Joe. Five. Bro, Frank literally made that tiramisu like 
Like that was intergenerational fucking memory cortex is unlocking. You know what I mean? Like Assassin's Creed. He just made that in like 12, 10 minutes. It's like, oh, Tiramisu, I make this shit in my fucking sleep over here. Get the fuck out of here. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah, he had that epigenetic memory unlocking, uh, unlocking in his body. You saw the DNAs open up. Thank you, Tommy P213, for the 10 gifted. So the theme of tonight's challenge was to recreate our favorite desserts. The worst in each category will face elimination. Let's see how they taste. So let's begin with tiramisu. Okay, Felix. Italians are Benny Gesserit. Felix's tiramisu <laughs> looks like a sopping, blatant mess. She could be going home on this one. Felix, you don't look happy. It looks like <laughs> man. I. That's I... true. You saw oh. the standard. We put it up there. We asked you to execute it, and you come back with this. It's so disappointing. No, no. It's bad. You will go home. No, no, she won't. She will not. Joe, I swear to fucking God, if you ban Felix, oh my God, I'm going, I'm, I'm fighting. We're fighting. Bald motherfucker. Why'd you put nuts in here? I like mac nuts. Macadamia nuts? And an Italian tiramisu? Are you not understanding what we're doing here? What is this music right now, bro? You're just having tiramisu, sorry, okay? Guys. Chill. Well, it's not even eating it. It's, uh, it's looking at it. You show, like, more finesse than anyone in the kitchen. Like, things are beautiful, and, like, that's not you. Come on. And it's, like, the smallest plate possible with it, like, almost falling off the side. I mean, I'm not trying to, like, hurt your feelings, no, but you I know, know that. I know, like, I know. It's terrible. I just want to <laughs> fling it off the balcony. Oh, my God. I'm a lit I'm a simp. I would literally, if I, if I saw her crying, I would down that shit. I would just be like, give it to me. I, I want to fucking, I, I would literally put the plate up to my mouth, open my mouth as wide as possible and just shove it in, dude. No, look, I'm eating it. It's so delicious. It's my favorite. I've never even had, I've never had a better tiramisu in my life. Way too sweet, macadamia nuts, nothing. And it looks as sad as you do. <laughs> it is a mess. Alcohol all over the place, cream on the verge of spitting. So it's just like sweet on sweet on sweet. Um, and it's just mush. I mean, quite honestly. Hoscord got rate limited. You actually broke Discord for real this time? Fuck yeah, dude. Good shit. See, your worst performance in MasterChef. <laughs> I mean, he's right. He's an aggro, but he's right. It looks dreadful. In oh, tonight's elimination still got challenge, more. the remaining home cooks made three of the judges' favorite desserts. It is a mess. It's just mush. But Felix's tiramisu turned a favorite um, into a failure. I mean, quite honestly, your worst performance in MasterChef. Bro, this is the other really shitty part about MasterChef. Is like, whenever... You have like a really, really good chef. And then somewhere middle in the middle of the season, they just don't pop off. You know what I mean? On like one of the fucking things. And basically they just, they just get cut out. And meanwhile, like what is Tali and, and Felix at the same level? No. You know what I mean? And Tali's there with Felix. It's crazy. I've been there. I feel horrible for him. That's a place I wouldn't wish my worst enemy to go in front of those three doing a dish that's executed poorly. It's heartbreaking. Anna, come on up. You did a good job with your layering. As you can see inside, it kind of goes all the way through and you have your lady fingers, your cream and your lady fingers.
balanced and acidic, and it's great. Good job. Thank you. Next for the tiramisu is Frank. It's really pretty. It's like, a, it's like a sweet little lasagna. Yeah. Super balanced. You did the lady fingers justice, right? You soaked them, not too much. The layers are there, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. You'd like to taste the uh, tiramisu from David Martinez. I think Tanya threw me Oh God, it's raw Tinez! <laughs> and there I lay, starfished, ready for the train to come. That's that raw Tinez music. My mascarpone. Oh shit, he put fucking. Yo, he put nuts too. Let's go. Hit him with the what the fuck is this bullshit? This is disrespectful to Italian heritage. With brandy and marsala wine, and I topped it with hazelnuts. David, you go to Italy and you sprinkle hazelnuts on tiramisu. Mm. They'll shoot you. The whole idea of tiramisu means pick me up. You just put me down. Oh, great shame. This is the first time I've ever made a tiramisu. That's pretty apparent. Oh, oh my God. Why it's all this watery stuff around here? Uh, I believe I over soaked my lady fingers. Looks kind of gross. I apologize for that. Bro, he's about Based to. When I'm tasting, I wish I could send you and Felix home because this is really, really off target. Tanya, what did you do to them? Brutal. Next up, Josh, please. Thank you. Uh, I, I just... raspberry reduction I did with some blood orange juice and some armoretta. And then I also did a banana cream. Tastes like a banana split. Thank you. Not a good thing. It's not supposed to be a banana oh, split. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. This is like a bowl full of cream with bananas in it. There's like no fruit. The fuck's a banana, bro? That's a fruit. It doesn't have the beautiful even layers. <laughs> it's all over the place, you know. And being able to scoop down, come the up with the beautiful spoon and even see layers, all the craftsmanship, but also when you taste it, getting a little bit of all that together evenly. That's what you have to work on here. Okay, Monty. Right. What is that little thing? Raspberry gelatin with raspberries with raspberry liqueur. I think making people do a trifle is the worst thing that the British Empire has done. Like worse than the fucking 13 colonies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know why I'm shitting on this because I bet it's delicious. It's just like so weird though. 29 minutes to go, you hadn't even had anything in the bowl. It is delicious. Oh, no. I mean, it's very nice. I mean, what do I need more? I need more sponge. Okay. Good job. And stop being so nervous. Thank you, sir. Okay, next up, Stacy. Let's go, please. Thank you. This is Italian trifle. What does that mean? That means that I made a strawberry preserve using a little bit of balsamic vinegar. You put balsamic vinegar in a trifle. I did. I made a lemon curd and folded in some mascarpone and then a little bit of toasted almond on the top. Oh no. I feel like Gordo, this could go either way. Gordo is going to treat this like a war crime. He's going to be like, you're attacking my heritage. This is the worst thing. This is why the C word deserves to be banned. This is anti-British slander. It's delicious. Thank you. Really good indeed. Damn. Damn. Bold move. Great job. Thank well done. All kinds of goodies. Super balanced. The layers are there. I do miss the sprinkles though. Huh? I think they're cute. Yeah. But I think it's definitely delicious. Thank you. Thank you. The judges didn't say you can't take a little twist, so I went ahead and took some creative license on it and just went my own direction, trusting my palate.
Becky, let's go, please. Thank you. Becky's walking up with hers, and as usual, hers looks stunning, and I'm just facing bottom three for the trifle bowl. So I made a raspberry and orange liqueur gel with orange flower water. And then I also did a custard with lemongrass and vanilla bean, and then the whipped chantilly cream with sour anise. Did you have a strategy in presenting us with such dissonant flavors? Um, no, certainly not. I mean, I tasted it at your bench, and I thought that the star anise was certainly a very strange pick. Star anise? Oh, no, dude. No. It's gross. Whereas Stacy's dish is kind of like a symphony in balance and elegance. This is a cacophony of dissonant flavors that make absolutely no sense, complete excess, and quite frankly, an embarrassing dish that I wouldn't even recommend eating. I don't think that's edible. You've got so many strong flavors in there. It's almost like a sort of mouthwash. I think Tanya played this one absolutely right. Is it candied orange peel on top? I, th I think I was just paying too much attention to trying to do everything from scratch. Becky, you're trying to show off, and it bit you in the ass. In all honesty, I don't know if it was Tanya's intent to knock you out of the competition and send you home, but there's a strong possibility that that's what she might have just done. In all honesty, I don't know if it was Tanya's intent to knock you out of the competition and send you home, but there's a strong possibility that that's what she might have just done. All right, so the first strawberry shortcake that I would like to see belongs to Cowboy Mike. Let's go. Looks like you went out and shot this thing and dragged it back to the plate. I had to put something on the plate that showed a little bit of plating skill, so I went big. I mean, I'm, I'm tired of being in the middle. Interesting design. So, I mean, have you seen what a winning plate looks like in this competition? I have. Does it look closer to a winning plate or a go-home plate? It looks a little closer to a go-home plate. This guy, totally again, executed, just totally fucking skated by. Christine. Christine, not a big fan of strawberries? No, I like strawberries, but mm -hmm. I really wanted to just try to be a little bit more creative and go mm -hmm. a different way, because I feel like I usually mm -hmm. stay within a comfort zone. The shortbread itself is delicious, light, aerated. Thank you, chef. However, strawberry shortcake is a classic for a reason, not blackberry, not raspberry shortcake. So no. I'm struggling to find. No, it. you fucking stop it. I'm I'm sick and I'm fucking tired of Gordon Ramsay and these fucking judges disrespecting these incredibly talented master chefs who are master chefs in their own fucking right. Okay, stop it. Don't go there, Gordon. The strawberries. You're going to sit there, you're going to eat it, you're going to shut the fuck up, and you're going to say, wow, absolutely brilliant. That's what we're expecting from you. We're not expecting anything else. I don't want no fucking lip. I don't want to hear that it's like a different take and it's too much. Okay? I don't want to hear any of that. Tally. Tell me what you did. I made a um, little strawberry foam. Mm -hmm. I charged it with the two right. N2O cartridges, and I... <laughs> This is really good. Oh, thank God. The shortcake, it's got a little bit of sweetness. Uh, I like the, the strawberry foam, actually gives it a nice concentrated flavor. As far as plating and the dish as a whole, this is one of your best. Thank you very much. Good job. Thank you. Last but not least, No! Scott, Scott when are you gonna burst out and start nailing this? I am trying my damnedest. This is my least 
favorite part of the fucking show when the dude who just like sucks absolute dicks and asses just ends up like randomly catching a fucking dub and elo boosting for no reason okay that's unacceptable, dude. He literally hung on by a, a, a fucking thread the entire time. So the texture with the fork going through shortcake. It's doughy. It should be flaky. I probably overneeded it because I'm used to making pasta. In it. And at this stage of the competition, I expect those strawberries to be glazed. I thought this one was going to come out like the shiny star. Scott, dear, oh dear. Over dense, the whipped cream is too sweet. This dish might have lassoed Cowboy Mike out of the exit door, but that's about it. Scotty and I are very good friends, and I know he's one of the few people here that I will be friends with for a long time. I hate that he's the one I have to beat, but you know what? Yeah. Better him than me. We need a minute. Have a uh, chat amongst yourselves. We'll be back. I thought we were gonna get like all pretty good decent. I mean, in all honesty, Polly's yeah. looked prettier than anyone yeah. else's dessert out there. But he, what was she doing there? Yeah, I don't know. That was gross. She just spit out my food. Becky, say why? I was trying to do too much stuff. No. I should have just put my phone in. No, 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 no. I don't think anyone thinks you're trying to screw them. I know they do. I know Becky does. And I wanted to give her something challenging as a competition. The worst in each category will be up for elimination tonight. But we all agree that there was one standout dish that took a risk and made it work. Congratulations. Desert Queen. Stacy. Great oh, job. Nailed it. Thank you, Chef. Well done. Bro, come on. Tango Sparks Lava Cake. Thank you for the five gifted subs, dude. Oh, someone changed their whole ass name to Tango Sparks Lava Cake, dude. It is the top three moments probably of my life. Falling in love with my husband, jumping out of an airplane, and Gordon Ramsay loving my time up. Lazy accountant, Great thank job. you for the five gifts. As you know, this is a elimination test. And at least one person will be leaving MasterChef. Joe. Who had the I love that they also fucking clapped for Desert Queen going non traditional with her fucking trifle. But like when Felix, when Felix does a fucking non traditional tiramisu, Joe thinks it's like an anti Italian hate crime, which is really fucked up. Worst tiramisu, please. The person who will be in the bottom three from the tiramisu is. David, David Rotinez, get Felix. David out of here. Fuck! I do not want to get sent home. I'm better than the tiramisu. I feel like I have so much more to show. Graham, who yeah. had the worst strawberry shortcake? The absolute bottom of the barrel. No. Belonged to Scott. No. No, please I'm no. Still in the competition. Please no. No. For me, there were two. Below par, trifle. I know damn well they're not gonna call me because Joe definitely didn't spit my trifle out. But the worst trifle tonight belongs to Becky. Becky, step forward, please. I feel like getting eliminated on flavors. dessert as a, like getting eliminated on dessert as like a chef on a chef show kind of sucks too. Because aren't there, like, pastry chefs and, like, different kinds of chefs that do exclusively dessert, usually? Like, it's just... I mean, I guess you can still do a dessert as a chef, like a normal chef, but still, it's, like, kind of a specialty, right? It's like you got, I suppose, carried away with the hype. It was wrong in every aspect. Your saving grace is... There's two worse dishes than yours. Back to your station. No! 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 No, 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 no. Step forward, please. No. 
No. You have a future in food. No. You're a natural in the kitchen. No. You come a long way in this competition. No. And the journey has been extraordinary. No. Phoenix. It's time to say goodbye. No shot. No shot. It's not gonna it's a debate. It's a debate. And if you want to find out if it's a debate or not, you're gonna have to find out after this ad break because it's actually 9 p.m. and it's top of the fucking hour. Woo! Or if you want to find out because it's paywall, you're gonna have to subscribe for five dollars or for free, baby. Let's go. Comrade Kermit, thank you for the five gifted subs. Oh, oh, I'm, I, I'm really, listen, bitch, if you make me fucking stream for 10 hours, you know, I'm going to do, I'm going to do this shit. Okay. Here's the woman at right now. You can read the subtitles. Oh, can you? Because there's no subtitles on the screen. Good try though. Nice try, dude. Nice fucking try, dude. Oh my God. Oh no. Jill Canadian. Thank you for the five of the subs. I just, I don't want to, I don't want to play it yet. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to see it. It's like if I unpause it and it's actually her and not a truck, not a fucking classic trademark Jordan Ramsey, Gordon, Ram Jordan Ramsey, Gordon Ramsey debate. Lock Supremo. Thank you for the 10 gifted the subs and long lang glizzard. Thank you for the five years. Subs. Listen. The longer I wait, the more Felix is still a part of the show. You know what I mean? That's right. That was a double debate. I didn't actually fucking play a single moment when the ad played. All right, let's keep going. Ad breaks over. To Scott. Let's Get go! back to your station. Ah! <laughs> Scott. Ah! Big heart. Ah! Unselfish ah! attitude. You have to continue your food dream. Thank you. Thank you all. It's been an honor. Please take your Get apron off. Scott. Place it on your station. Thank you. Well done. The best thing I'm going to take away from the competition is the experience from it. Good job, well. bud. I learned so much from those three gentlemen and also my fellow competitors. I'm absolutely walking away a winner. I'm just not winning Master Chef. But what it did is it got me honed in and now I can actually keep on winning in my own life. And I plan to do that. I'm getting way too invested in a fucking TV show from 2011, okay? Absolutely unacceptable to be this fucking invested in a TV show from 2012 or 2011. Good job. You're not a winner at all, but good job. Another episode? No shot. No, no, no. I gotta hang out with my family, dude. This is nuts. This is bananas. It's 9. It's 9 p.m. Y'all are crazy. Okay, lore time. After his appearance, Scott created uh, or co-owned the creating company, The Comfortable Dish, which also sold the signature cadet hat until 2013 and is now production manager at AKQA. Scott later started a nonprofit charity for balding men, Alopecia Now. He received hair plugs. You're making this up. What? Uh, uh, Big heart. Uh, Unselfish uh, attitude. Uh, <laughs> that was that was weird. What happened there was was weird and uh Let's forget about that, okay?